Welcome back to another Illustrator tutorial everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to add hyperlinks to your projects whether you're working on PDF or web design. I'll walk you through both options so you're covered no matter what you're creating. So let's start right away with our first method. We're going to paste our link on the screen like this and the link is already clickable. If you save the file as a PDF you will be able to click on the link and it will redirect you to your web page. But what if we want to hide the link behind the button that's transparent, like this one? We are going to first group all the components. Then we're going to place this link above the button. And we are going to stretch the link as much as we need so it covers all the parts that we want to be clickable. Go to opacity on the right and lower it to zero. And there you go, it disappeared and now it's invisible. And if you have any problem finding these options on the right side, you can just change your workspace. It's in the top right corner of Adobe Illustrator. So you can see I'm in tracing workspace right now. If we group all of the parts, I like to group them. So if I move later the button, it's all it all goes together. I'm gonna choose save as option and we're going to save this file as a PDF. Remember, this will only work with PDF files like this. Now in this dialog box, we need to make sure our document is supporting hyperlinks. You're gonna make sure of that if you check the compatibility section. Make sure you choose Acrobat 5 or any higher version of it. Also under options, make sure you check this box saying optimize for fast web view. And remember, this is a very important step, so make sure you do that correctly. There you go, the link is working. Now, what if you are working on a web design? You are designing a web page and you need to make a clickable button for your web page. We are going to select the object, group all the components, select the object again. Go to Object, Slice, Make, and like that, the button is made. What we need to do now is go to File, Export, and choose this option, Save for Web. Over here, double click on the image, put the name that you want. Paste the URL. Make sure it's all correctly written. What you write in alt text, it will appear when you hover over the button actually on your website. And we can go to preview button on bottom left if you can see that. Just press on that one. And here it is, we can see a small hand icon when we hover over, which means it's working. And if you scroll down, you will find your code. And that's it guys, now you know how to easily add hyperlinks into your Illustrator projects, whether it's for a PDF file or a web design. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips and tricks and see you in the next one.